Hi, I'm Gabe Mikatera. Oh, welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? If you've ever been to a girls lacrosse game this year, you'd know that the likelihood of them winning is abysmal. Although their record is 1-11, the spirits on the team fly high like emus. I wanted to get to know members of the team on a personal level, so this week I went on a peaceful walk with 4-11 sophomore Emma Kellogg. So as we both know, lacrosse is one of the more hyped hamp sports in the spring, so what, do you, what would you say you like the most about lacrosse? Um, probably the chemistry on the team. Everyone's really positive all the time. We have a lot of fun at practice. Stuff like that. Bus rides are really fun usually. And um, a typical bus ride to an away game, what type of music would you guys generally play? And keep in mind, I cannot stand Lady Gaga. Of course. Um, well, we actually don't have a speaker, so it's either we uh, bump along to the radio oh, on I got the you. bus, or sometimes we'll sing a show tune. And is the team more of a Hits 94.3 or 93.1 type of, you know, hits preference? Hits 94.3 usually. It depends on the bus driver. Right. Um, sometimes it's like the Hispanic radio. Yeah. That's also always okay. fun. Because, you know, Hits 93.1 kind of censored out all rap, you know, parts of songs. Like yeah. if you were to listen to E.T. by Katy Perry, yeah. you're not going to hear the rap, you know, There's just part. no point of it. Yeah. No, obviously. obviously. So, you know, there's two components to being on a sports team. You have the skill, obviously, mm -hmm. and you're probably pretty athletically gifted, as I can see. Um, but what comes with that is the sisterhood that brings together right. the team as a whole. Um, so how strong would you say the bond of sisterhood is on the girls lacrosse team this year? I would say for both teams the bond is pretty strong all around. We usually all get along really well and we talk a lot and sometimes we go to Denny's together. Oh really? Denny's, yep, we love to go to Denny's. What would you get normally if I took you to Denny's right now, like what would you mm -hmm. order? I'd probably get the cinnamon swirl pancakes. Oh, that sounds heavenly. Uh, extra frosting. Oh, okay, gotcha. Team this year is not looking that good. You guys are one in 10. And as you just told me, you guys go to Denny's, but what else <laughs> gets you through the losses besides, you know, a night out with the girls? You know, you just gotta keep your head up. We usually, our coach makes us run a lot <laughs> sometimes. Oh, I gotcha. That makes us want to play harder. Um, otherwise, we kind of just joke about it. <laughs> make, make fun of ourselves. Well, at least the team's in good spirit this year. Uh, yes, of course. So as you probably saw last week, I did a segment on injuries. And mm -hmm. have you suffered any injuries playing lacrosse? Yes, my freshman year, I got checked in the head and I get three staples right here. Oh, really? Really. Damn. Um, and did it hurt um, when you fell from heaven? Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> Something that should motivate you to attend a girls lacrosse game this year is the fact that the team features not one, but two future college athletes, Eleanor McDonald and Sophie Marini, both of whom are captains this year and are trying their best to lead the team out of the sewer. So um, how did your college recruitment processes go? Were they hard? Were they fun? Mine was actually pretty easy. My friend Ellie said- Warney, who graduated last year, was being recruited by AIC, so the coach came to a couple of games and she liked the way I played, I guess. So I was actually applying to Westfield thinking I was going to be playing field hockey and I still am but then the lacrosse coach came to one of the play days that I was at and he asked me to come to one of his so that's how I'm, I'm just going to be doing like a walk-on type of thing. So Ellie, what do you think you're going to miss most about high school lacrosse, high school sports? I think that I'm going to miss most all the friends that I've made and probably our coach Jordan. Do you know anybody from our school that's going to AIC with you? Um, I don't think so, actually. So you're just going to be a lone ranger in college, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, I wish you guys a successful part of the rest of the season. Thank you guys for being on Hamped Up. Thank and you. have a great practice later. Thank you. Jeez, well, that's not hard. The girls lacrosse team's next game is... What are you doing? I have a segment this week, too. Y'all ready for this? The girls' tennis team has been working hard so far this season while simultaneously teaching the numerous number of new players how to play at the high school level. With only five players having previous tennis experience, the returners are determined to help to the best of their ability and have another successful season. I talked with senior Ella Strzelski and junior Eleanor Harden about how their season is going so far. I typically play third singles or first doubles. And I normally play first doubles or second doubles. For our bodies, we mostly just practice and practice a lot. It's a lot of repetition and muscle memory of hitting the ball. 
Mm -hmm. And then for our mind, I think generally as a team, we really like to just get in the, get in that like space where you're really relaxed. You're really like confident in what you can do and just keep telling yourself like, I can do this. I know how to play tennis and, and just go into a match or even just practice feeling like you're, you're going to do well. The most valuable mental note, mm -hmm. I guess like stay focused and yeah. keep calm. Uh -huh. um, I personally get very stressed out before a match and I can get really tense and that'll send the ball like flying mm -hmm. out of the court. So really maintaining yeah. your cool is important. But, and some people like it different differs what he tells us based on how you are as a player. So like, like Ella said, she generally gets really like tense. And so he'll tell her to just relax. But if someone is more like not as tense and more just like or whatever they'll he'll tell them like you got to get focused you got to get strong and really make sure you're hitting the ball so the biggest thing is move your feet you can't yeah. make a good swing if you're not in the right position mm -hmm. and with the high winds like the ball will move really suddenly and you need to be on your feet and move quickly yeah. And also just really wa make sure you're watching the ball. I used to play softball and that was one of the biggest things when you're hitting the ball is just make sure you're watching the ball hit the bat and it's the same thing in tennis when you just want to watch the ball hit your racket. And, yeah. Before the season ends, I think we really want to just get like a consistent kind of like get into a consistent rhythm, I think, of, of players like, you know, know what we're playing and know how to do it well. And, and just make sure we're hitting the ball across the net every single time. I would love to see before the season ends, a lot of our younger players really step up and take on that responsibility of playing on varsity because we have a lot of seniors that are gonna be leaving this year and really counting on them to continue this team next season. I think like Ella was saying before, just really being able to move my feet and get in the right position every single time. Mm -hmm. I think personally this season, I would love to work on my serves and singles play. Um, last season I played mostly doubles and so this season I'd love to play a little more singles and work on some of the strategy involved in that. Girls Tennis has their next game on Monday, May 13th away at Amherst at 4 p.m. In other sports news, both softball and boys tennis are away at Minnetonka at 4. Girls Lacrosse is home against Agawam at 4. Baseball is home against Chicopee Comp at 4. And Boys Ultimate has their senior night game at 5.30 in the stadium against Four Rivers. Both tomorrow and Sunday, Girls Ultimate has the Amherst Invitational Tournament all day at Amherst High School. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Lulu Kesson and happy Mother's Day.